Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about orbital effects in communication system performance. Okay. So there are several orbital effects with respect to the satellite communication. So uh, there are uh, four mainly. We are considering four orbital effects with which the communication system may be deviated. Okay. So the first one is Doppler effect. Second one is range variation. Third one is eclipse. And fourth one is sun transit outage. Okay. So let's see what is this Doppler effect range, how it is varying. Okay. So what is the eclipse with respect to the satellite communication and sun transit outage means once let us see. Okay. Now coming to the Doppler effect. Okay. So in previous subjects like antenna wave propagations and several communication system subjects, uh, you might have already learned about this Doppler effect. Okay. Now coming to the Doppler effect with respect to the satellite communication. Okay. So let us consider a stationary observer or let us consider a uh, stationary receiver. Okay. And uh, the receiver starts receiving the signal from a transmitter, let us say. Okay. But here what happens? The transmitter keeps on moving, moving. Okay. So whenever this particular transmitter keeps on moving, okay, the frequency of the transmitted signal keep on varying. Okay. So to a test, uh, to a stationary observer, the frequency of a moving radio transmitter varies with respect to the transmitted velocity with what velocity that particular transmitter is moving based on that. Okay. Whatever the signal it is transmitting, the frequency of that particular signal will be keeps on varying with respect to the observer or the receiver. Okay. So this particular Doppler effect is given by Delta F is equal to VT by Lambda where Delta F is the Doppler frequency. VT is the velocity of the transmitter and lambda is the wavelength. Okay. Now let's consider, for example, let's consider an earth station. Okay. So this is an earth station, which is stationary. Okay. Let us assume this is an antenna in the earth station on the earth. Okay. Let us consider satellite in an orbit. This is an elliptical orbit and this is a satellite. Okay. So this satellite here won't be stationary, right? It keeps on moving in the orbital path. Okay. Now what happens? Let us assume we are receiving the signal from the satellite. So from the satellite, we are trying to receive the signal to our earth station where our antenna is there. Okay. Now here our satellite acts as an transmitter and our earth station antenna acts as a receiver. Now what's happening? This particular satellite is moving in an elliptical orbit with some velocity. So based on the velocity of that particular satellite, okay, the frequency keeps on varying, okay, while it is transmitting the signal towards the earth station. Okay. So based on the velocity of that particular satellite, the frequency keeps on varying with respect to this particular earth station where here this earth station acts as a receiver or the observer and satellite acts as a transmitter. And this is denoted by Delta F is equal to VT by Lambda. Okay. Where Delta F is equal to Doppler frequency. VT is the velocity of the transmitter. Lambda is the wavelength. Clear. Okay. Now let's see another effect. So the second effect is the range variation. Here we are completely talking about the time slots with respect to TDMA. TDMA, we all know it is a time division multiple axis. So it, if TDMA or the time division multiple axis is used in particular transmission and reception of the signal, we already know that time each signal will be given a particular time slot okay in which the data or the packets need to be transmitted and in that particular time interval only the station will be receiving that particular signal data or packets right okay 
so if tdma is being used okay so careful attention must be taken so that the individual user frames arrive at the satellite in the current sequence and at a current time okay let us say we are sending some signals from the earth station to the satellite okay and if at all we are using a tdma time division multiple axis technique we need to be very much careful like all the data whatever we are transmitting will be received by the moving satellite in correct sequence and that to in correct time okay suppose let us say whenever the earth is i mean satellite is moving around the earth sometimes the satellite will be nearer to the earth and in some cases the satellite will be far away from the earth okay so if at all the satellite is nearer to the earth okay so there will be uh, a transmission of the signal or the data or the packets will be uh, within less time okay so within the time frame the signal will be transmitted properly it's not an issue at all but whenever the satellite is away from the earth okay so there might be a mismatch of timing slot this time division multiple axis though it allows the time slots what happens if at all the satellite is away from the earth in whenever it is revolving in the orbit okay there might be uh, a gap or a delay okay or the data will be received by this particular earth station or the observer takes very very long time okay due to which the time slots will get delayed or mismatched okay so this happens whenever the satellite is moving away from the earth so whenever you are using tdma concept in this particular satellite communication you need to be very much careful that the data or the packets are received or transmitted within the given time slots itself why because whenever the satellite is moving away from the earth there might be a long time or a delay happens due to the transmission and reception of the signal okay so therefore a special care should be taken by the observer or the earth station okay to arrive the packets or data in the correct time as well as correct sequence this is nothing but our effect with respect to the range variation okay or the distance variation now coming to the third one sun transit outage okay now let's see let us say a satellite here is transmitting signal to a some dish or an earth station present on the earth okay so this is an earth on which there is an antenna the satellite keeps on transmitting this particular signal to this particular earth station and earth station keeps on transmitting some signal to this particular satellite okay now what happens uh, if at all the sun larger body called sun is at the back of the satellite okay so let me uh, put it in a frame a sun outage a sun transit or a sun fade is an interruption or distortion in geostationary satellites signals okay caused by the interference of sun when it falls directly behind a satellite okay which is an earth station trying to receive a data from or transmit the data to okay so whenever this particular earth station called satellite or an antenna trying to transmit the signal or receive the signal from a satellite okay and if at all there is a sun at behind this particular satellite okay there will be an occurrence of lot of distortions or we can also call it as lot of fading or we can also call it as lot of interruptions okay so this is especially uh, happens with respect to the geostationary satellites which are very very far away from the earth okay so what happens here whenever the earth station and the satellite is uh, getting communicated okay and if at all the sun is behind the satellite okay the shadow of this particular uh, satellite falls on this particular uh, earth station or the while the signal is traveling there might be the shadow of the this particular satellite due to the sun which is present at the behind of the satellite so what happens there will be a lot of noise lot of interruption and lot of fading which happens between this particular okay satellite as well as the earth station why because 
there is a sun present at the back of this particular satellite now what happens sun's rays fall like this and the shadow of this particular satellite will be between this particular antenna as well as okay this particular satellite due to which what's happening there is an interruption disruption or a fade of the signals will be caused by it. this is due to the sun being behind the satellite okay so this is nothing but the sun transit outage we can also call it as a sun outage a, tra a sun transit or a sun fade it is nothing but an interruption caused between the communication of satellite as well as earth station why because whenever the sun falls behind the satellite okay the sun rays fall on the satellite and there will be a formation of shadow of satellite between the earth station and satellite which uh, fades or uh, creates some distortions or interruptions between the satellite and the earth station okay this is what we uh, believe sun transit outage okay now coming to the last is the solar eclipse okay this is a solar eclipse okay formed for this particular satellites okay not a general uh, solar eclipse here we are talking about the solar eclipse which are formed for a satellite okay now consider consider an earth so earth is in the middle let us say and we are considering an orbit let us consider it can be an any kind of it can be a circular orbit or an elliptical orbit and consider a satellite now what this satellite do this satellite keeps on moving in the orbital space keeps on moving right okay now let us say sun is this side there is a sun over here and the rays of sun is falling on the earth let us say whenever the sun rays falls on this particular this part of the earth what happens there will be a formation of shadow at this end right we all know okay now let us say this particular satellite is keeps on moving in the orbit like this okay and reaches over here now what happens this satellite will be under the earth shadow till it passes this particular area the satellite move which is moving in the orbit will be in the earth shadow at this particular point let me clear this at this particular point from this point to this point the satellite will experience solar eclipse why because okay whenever satellite reaches this particular point due to the sun rays falling on the earth from this side okay the shadow of the earth is formed at this side okay so and whenever the satellite is traveling in an orbital space and it reaches this particular path okay from this point to this point till the till the satellite crosses this particular area we can say this uh, we can say that the satellite is in the solar eclipse or in the earth shadow okay so this is how we are considering this is also one of the effect which leads for the distortions and the interruptions okay so a satellite is said to be in eclipse when earth prevents sunlight from reaching it okay so that means earth prevents sunlight from reaching it means the sunlight is opposite of the other side of the earth that means uh, the satellite is under the earth shadow that is the satellite is in the shadow of the earth this is we are considering as solar eclipse of of that particular effect okay so these are the several orbital effects so whenever you will be given a question in the exam orbital what are the different types of orbital effects with respect to the 
satellite communication which affects the satellite communication performance means you need to mainly discuss about this first one is the doppler effect second one is the range variation third one is the eclipse and the fourth one is the sun transit outage okay very simple concept and at the same time very very important concept okay thank you